Okay, he hello everyone. Welcome back to Rubber Band Codes. Or, and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to create a game uh, with Batch in Notepad plus plus. And I'll teach you how to make it in Notepad too, because most people have that. But I'll leave a Notepad uh, a link to Notepad plus plus in the video's description down below. Okay. Okay. So, um, when you, once you open up Notepad plus plus, and don't listen to this part if you're doing it in Notepad, um, you wanna go to um, language. Right, and this is why it's so good because you can do Perl, Python, right, C sharp, uh, C, C plus plus, uh, like HTML and stuff, and like oh, what's the other one? Uh, like Java and JavaScript, right? So we're gonna go to B, click on Batch, right? Now what we're gonna do is basically click type at echo off. I'll make a separate video explaining all of this. I just wanna get it done now, right? So at echo off. That's basically, uh, I'll explain it later. Okay, All right. Now we want to set the uh, title to uh, game one, two, three. Oh no, one, two, three. Okay. Uh, and we're going to set the color to um, zero B, which is just like uh, light blue. And then we're going to go down here. Then we're going to type, um, let me just check something. Okay, yeah. Uh, cause this is just gonna be bits and pieces of other one of other games I've made. And th by the way, this is part one. Uh, we're just gonna click type startup, and this is just uh, basically something that can be called over to, cause it reads line by line, and then if it sees like go to or one of these names, then it will jump to that and just read from there. Right, startup. Then we're gonna say um, echo. And the echo basically is like just printing something on the screen. Game. Yeah, game one, two, three. And that's more lines. And we're going to do echo dot echo. And we're basically going to say one um, is a uh, start. Game. Now this doesn't mean anything because we put echo there and it's basically saying it's not code. It is um, uh, like just printing something. So this is what people are gonna see, and not what's actually and nothing's actually gonna happen just from this. Exit. Or no. Quit. Right now we're gonna do set slash p um input one equals enter there like that okay now let me just check something again okay yeah now we're adding the ifs now i'm gonna go down here if now percent input percent um is basically when if i highlight it again it's basically oh wait no input oh, I, I forgot something okay it's basically calling back to that so so it's calling back to the same so it's, it's since input one one equals whatever the person types if input one um equ stands for equal to uh, one, go to, I think, what should I put it as? Mm. Yeah, I'll set it as begin. Then, if percent input, the uh, percent, oh, yeah, oh, dang it, put one percent EQ you two. I think I can just put exit, right? That should be right. Now, basically, right, since I called, since, right, I said there's call-ups, right? So I called up begin. So now we have to add in begin that we can call to. Um, begin. Oh, wait, no slash. Okay, begin. And from begin, we're going to do CLS, which means clear screen. We're going to say... Um, Uh, we're gonna do echo 
Hello. Trav Traveler. Oh yeah, I guess this will be a like uh mm, what's it called? Mm, I forgot what it, uh yeah, RPG. Yeah. It's going to be an RPG. Hello traveler. Um Ooh. Your quest is to get to the other side of the dungeon. The other side of the dungeon. Dot, dot, dot. Echo your... Oh, wait. Stats are All right now. This is the cool part. Wait, no, no, no. Uh oh. Kill. Kill. Goblins and. Explore the dungeon. Okay. Pause. Now I'm just basically going to copy this, except I'm going to make this input 2, then if input um go to it's not gonna be begin now it's gonna be uh go to go to let's call it stats right uh, now we have to set here. We'll make this stats, right? And then now we're gonna set all the stats, right? So I think so. We put it over here. So that just says set, yeah. So basically, we're gonna set the stats. So set. So first, we see CLS. Uh, and just in case you don't know, I said I was gonna explain it in a different video, but we can show you the basic. I can show you the basics. So CLS basically stands for clear screen, because this, all the stuff you'll see here, once you type in one, you won't automatically. It won't. It will still stay there, right? It won't just disappear. So CLS. Now we're gonna say set. Um, equal uh set did we do plus equals no 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 that's changing it later which we'll get into later um set uh how do we do it uh was it just set hp set yes set space we're gonna say hp equals 20 enter now we're just gonna have set ATK, oh no, ATK equals, no, five, set, um, should we do half hunger? I don't know, that might make it too complicated, so we'll leave that out, we'll say, Set NM ATK equals, let's set it to one. 
let's set it to th it's a good number Now let's set that again to still 5, and let's set that to 2. Alright, so the enemy attack is 2, and your attack is 5. Um, these are the basic, oh yeah, gold. So we can add in a store mechanic, and it'll be a lot later on. Set store, I mean, no, ugh. set mm, gold equals, so we'll give you 25 gold for now. Right, so now we're going to uh, say echo. Your stats are dot 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 to echo health. We're going to say health. And then we're going to just, so percent. HP percent. Now that equals 20. So it says health. Then we'll just say. Um, then we'll, then you'll just see uh, health is. I, actually, let's make this because I don't really think we should program in. Like an end, let's just make it go forever. Your request is to kill as many goblins as possible. I don't think that's okay, right. Your stats are health. Do do do. And we're gonna do one, two, three. Attack. Percent. ATK. Percent. And then one, two, three. Wait now. Oh frick. Uh. Oopsies. One, two, three. And we're going to do all of them except enemy attack because we don't have to tell them your enemies do blah 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 because that's going to stay the same so there's no point in even doing it. I just put stats there. Uh, these are all variables. Uh, HP is going to change when you get attacked. Your attack is going to... Um, change when you get weapons your money's going to change either when you buy stuff from the store or when uh you kill goblins right actually we're going to name the game goblin slayer slayer okay goblin slayer okay Attack is blah blah blah, and then money percent gold percent. All right, that's all I have. HP attack and gold. Enter. One. Now we're just gonna go echo echo dot go. Well, really, we can just copy and paste. We'll keep this copy and pasted. We're gonna do echo dot echo um, echo is one. Enter. What? Big Chungus? What? I'm so confused. Oh, Big Chungus. It's right there. Okay. Um. 
I spelled enter wrong. Enter in the dungeon and echo and option two is quit okay and so now we're just gonna copy and paste that so but now we're making that input three Go to, now it's not stats anymore, it's dungeon, no, go to dungeon. Oh wait, no, Okay, now let me just add a pause here, and we can check out what we have so far. Hopefully, I haven't made one jumbo mistake. Okay, notepad game. New one, it's called so far. Goblin Slayer. One, start game. Hello, traveler. Your quest is to kill as many goblins as possible. We must rid the world, kill goblins, and explore the dungeon. I have to, I have to say one. Okay, right. And I should enter, okay. So one thing we have to do is say, mm, echo. Echo, mind break. Echo one. Continue and echo uh, two. Wait. Right. So now one. Let's go to stats. So now, really, let me try it out. Let me also rename it. Uh, yes. Goblin. I'm gonna call it Goblin for now. Want start game? Hello, traveler. Continue. Your stats are. Do -do -do. Okay, so I think that's good for today. Um, we'll see. I'll see you. Um. Uh, we'll see, I'll see you, um, in the next installment. Uh, so, goodbye.